Jump, and today we're going to talk about how to fix your pike jumps. So for all of you guys who don't know what a pike jump is, I'm going to demonstrate for you. Um, we see it very often, it's very common for the double unders. The toes come up, the butt goes back, and we end up bending in our hips like this. So the toes come up, the butt goes back. Um, so it's really important that we don't fall into this position. It's very inefficient and it's actually um, very detrimental to our form. So today we're going to talk about a couple of things that we can do to fix it. So one of the ways to fix a pike jump is to actually do an opposite. Um, you're actually going to go for a butt kick. So you're going to bring your heels to your butt. That way you can fully extend your hips at the top. That would look something like this. This is still an extreme position, right? This is not a proper way to jump. So it's important to practice kicking your butt so you go into the direction of leaving your legs long, pointing your toes to the ground. So another really important thing to think of when you're doing a pike jump is to do the exact opposite, is to point your toes to the ground rather than letting them float up to the ceiling and practice extending your hips at the top. And a single under it would look like this and a double under. Full extension of the hips at the top, pointing the toes to the ground. Um, the last drill you can use to help you with your pike jumping is actually to jump forward. Jumping forward allows us to point our toes to the ground. It's very hard to jump and move forward with our toes pointing up. So now I'm going to demonstrate the three versions of the things that I just talked about, um, all with three bounds and a big third explosive bound. Thanks for watching. Um, keep looking for more videos and happy jumping. Woo! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs>